so unique. I have not pulled out a bass that has... What's going on, gang? Welcome back. We are going to be doing a video sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box today. That's right. We're coming at you guys with another slam attempt. And let me tell you what, this one's going to actually be a challenge because weather has been crazy lately. So it's going to be Devin and I trying to tackle this challenge with the young pup. Uh, his name's Zeke. And so we're going to go ahead, tie on some of these lures. We're hitting a small neighborhood pond that is uh, completely tough to get into. We waited about, you know, maybe 10 minutes outside of the neighborhood. We were doing a little scout mission. As soon as the first resident pulled in, we just pulled a little whoosh right in there behind him. And uh, yeah, we're in. So shh, let's go ahead and get a few things tied on and try and catch some of these fish. All right, guys, so Devin and I have been using Mystery Tackle Box for about a year now. Absolutely love the service. You get a mystery box full of baits every single month at your door. It's like Christmas every single month, which, speaking of, is coming up, and we've got some specials for you guys down in the description. There's a Black Friday sale going on over at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'm sitting here editing this clip and just wanted to fill you guys in on the Black Friday sale. Head over to Carl's with the link at the top of the description and pinned comment. You can get 20% off of your MTB subscriptions. Mystery tackle boxes from the basic all the way up to the elite, 20% off. Also, you can get fake black combos, the rod and reel. I literally used to throw these for like the first year of my vlogs. Those rods are 100 bucks. You get the rod and reel combo, and it's a sick bait caster for $100 total. And then lastly, $17 mondo kits but you have to be a carl's club member to get in on the pre-sale which is now through the 21st the rest of everyone else as long as stuff has not sold out you guys can pick stuff up through cyber monday but if you want to get in on the pre-sale go ahead and sign up for a free trial carl's club membership through the link and you can get access to these lower prices Let's get back to the vlog. And stick around till the end of today's episode because Devin and I are actually going to be giving away a mystery tackle box, details to come. So, let's open this up and showcase what we've got in this month's box. First things, we're starting off with a boppin' frog. This is by Chase Bates and an Australia company. Zeke, what do you think about this one? Pretty good? He says it looks very interesting and he can't wait to throw it. Uh, you know, it's fall, the water's cooled down. I don't expect any top water blow ups, but we're definitely gonna showcase it and have a little bit of fun. Next, this one could crush today. This is the Z Man Chatterbait. Basically, this one's just got this bucktail instead of the traditional skirt that you might see. And so it's gonna be a little bit different for us. I haven't thrown one of these before, but I'm expecting some similar results. That Chatterbait blade is really gonna get their attention on the move. We'll probably do something like a Bandito bug crack and crawl on the back of this, maybe a swim bait trailer, soft plastic, something of that nature to really get those strikes. Then, a rattling lipless crankbait. This looks pretty sweet. This is actually an MTB exclusive. This is the Great Lakes Agitator. This thing is probably gonna slay as well. We can see if they're biting the moving stuff today, and if not, we've also got some bottom baits inside this box here, so let me showcase one of those. First up is a hard hats flipping jig. So this is a catch co bait. This is 3 8 ounce. I think it's gonna be perfect for this small pond right here. Again, we'll probably throw something like a bandito bug or cracking craw trailer on this sucker right here, black and blue. We'll try and match that skirt color, and I think we'll have some good results with the jig here today. Also, we've got some Daichi hooks, claiming to be the world's sharpest hook. So we're gonna be throwing around some different soft plastics on these. I really like when they include hooks in the box because it gives you an opportunity to not only fish with the preset baits, but this is now where you can get some quality hooks in a box and throw whatever is your favorite soft plastic and have a bunch of fun with it. So we've got some hooks in this month's box, digging that. Then we've got the Booyah Prank. This guy looks like he would be a topwater popper, but he's also got a little bit of a bill, so maybe he'll dive down just a hair. We're gonna see how this thing works when we throw it, but I bet you we could get a little hit on this too. Let's get after it, tie a couple things on at this small pond. Devin and I are about to have some fun, so we're both GoPro'd up. Let's get to fishing. So I decided I'm gonna get started with these Daichi hooks. So what I'm gonna do is actually Texas rig it up with a Wu Tungsten 3 8 ounce weight. So I'm gonna slip that onto the line right quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a Palomore knot for the uh, Daichi hook. I'm also gonna use something a little different, something that actually our friend Cody, who I, we went fishing with yesterday, is one of his very all-time favorite baits. It's these Zoom Z Craws, and they're actually in the blueberry color, which is a pretty unique, it's a hard to find color, so be on the look. He absolutely swears by these baits, so we're gonna give him a try, I'm pretty excited. Let's see, he loves them, we'll probably love them, bass love them, so let's catch them. All tied on, let's get over to the GoPro. It's been a while since we fished here. The water is looking quite muddy, murky. Um, this place isn't very big, as you can see. You can probably see the entire pond in the GoPro. And what I'm gonna do is see if they're a little bit closer to the banks. 
maybe a little closer to the fountain. We shall see. Okay, so while Devin starts off with the bottom bait, I'm gonna do the same actually. I'm gonna see if they won't hit on this jig to start things off with one of my favorite jig trailers, the Crack and Crawl. So I'm definitely gonna pinch one section of the Crack and Crawl off, and that'll be the perfect size for this jig, I believe. Let's go ahead and get these things rigged up and ready. All right, guys, there you go. Jig with the Crack and Crawl trailer all rigged up. One section of the Crack and Crawl taken off, Palomar knot, 17 pound fluorocarbon. Let's see if we can't catch a fish. Last time Devin and I were here, we caught some almost three pounders out of this little pond. And uh, we've even seen on Fish Brain, there's some maybe larger ones than that. You can practically cast this jig all the way across this thing. But Devin's saying the grass is pretty thick and not even good for that Texas rig already. So this is probably gonna be even worse. I might have to swim it if that's what it comes down to to try and get this bait knocked out. But we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and get the first cast. So Weston and I are both using currently something bottom and currently something with both a black and blue presentation. And he's circled this whole pond. I've pretty much made my way around the whole pond. So I'm gonna throw on this lipless crank, but it has the rattles, which I'm thinking may intrigue bass a little bit. So let's get it tied on, give it a few casts, maybe make our way around the pond. If nothing, there's a few other ponds right here in this general area that we'll probably end up making a bounce to. And that Weston talked about in the intro, but we've been having a lot of crazy different cold fronts hot warm in the temperature and it's really throwing these bass off it seems like the bite has just been tough over the past week and so we're trying to figure out what the heck these guys want that's irritating there goes that i don't think we're gonna get a fish on that Okay guys, slight mishap at the first pond. Um, <laughs> Devin was throwing around the lipless for a while and actually got it caught in that grass. It was way too thick to be throwing that, I think, but we have something that's almost identical that we can throw at this next pond. Anyways, she got that caught, um, had to break it off, and then kind of stumbled and got a little wet, and we ended up going home, taking Zeke back to the crib. She changed, and now we're at a second location. So uh, we just pulled a fast one on you guys. This one looks much better anyways. There's no grass, like right up to the bank. It's much clearer water. This is like a beautiful pond. We totally just found this on a whim through the Fish Brain app. We, we find just about every pond we fish through the Fish Brain app. Um, take a second to check this out. It's got a bridge over here. There's like a drain inlet on the other side. There's a couple fountains. There's a nice point. Like this is a... Oh my God, a huge koi. A huge koi. Guys, look, this thing is huge. Oh, you need my glasses. You need my glasses. That is bigger, isn't it? Oh my gosh. That is a huge koi fish. What a scenic place. All right, let's get these lures in the water. We're gonna try and see if we can't catch some fish on this mystery tackle box challenge. Super clear. Almost need a, maybe a natural color jig would be better, but we're about to find out. Got him swimming the jig. Sweet. First catch of the night. Dang. Nice one, too. Swimming it. He's like covered in black ink, too. This is a cool looking fish. This is insane. Check it out, guys. First one out of the mystery tackle box. That came on the jig, and I was just swimming it in with the flutter of that crack and crawl trailer. And look at the pattern on this thing. So unique. I have not pulled out a bass that has that much black spots before. I've caught some in the past that maybe have some black spots. I don't know if it has to do anything with the weather or not. That's completely on you guys in the comments to let me know. But this thing is just an interesting little fish. Anyways, I kind of want to fish the jig a little bit more before I even switch it. That chatterbait would probably be smart. Um, but there's some rocks over here in the far corner, so I might go hit those. But check out the first fish of the day, you guys. Super awesome. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Okay, now I'm trying to navigate the woods a little bit and uh, make it over to these rocks with some more of the lures. Devin is tying on the chatterbait, and uh, we're going to see if we can't get some fish over here on the far edge of this pond. Sweet spot, man. Sweet spot. This could be fun if these trebles cooperate. There we go. I can see it out there. Thing looks really good. Nice wobble. 
Something's gonna come attack this thing. There it goes. Third cast. Oh no. Came off. Dang. Third, third cast, I think, with it. I didn't think I was gonna need to really set the hook because he ate it on the move, but I should have given it a little bit of a jerk there and I would have landed that fish for sure. The hook just didn't penetrate well enough. He came off. That was a good one. Oh my gosh. Right in the fountain. No way. Texas rig. That felt so good. On, on. Yes. Oh my gosh. You stay on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it. I didn't get skunked. Yes. But it came on that popper. It has a really freaking cool action. He's over at the truck doing something. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy unhooked. Oh, look at that one. Yes. He's not big, but I will take it. Oh, like he's got a black spot on his tail too. I don't know how well you can see that. But I got him on that popper like I was telling the GoPro. Popper slash crank slash it's now stuck in there. So if you want to zoom it in, that is what this, it's funny. Check out the size comparison. Huh. They don't care. They hungry. All right. So that's two of the items checked off the list. Let's go ahead. We're closing in on a little bit. Of, we're losing our daylight pretty fast. And, and Grimaldi's happy hour ends in 45 minutes. Gotta get our pizza, we gotta guys. get we gotta get Grimaldi's happy hour. So we literally have like 20 more minutes to like fish and then go get our happy hours order in at pizza. So we gotta crank on these things. All right, Weston's over there filming, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get the release on the GoPro. Yeah, look, his little top lips kind of red. So they are eating. They are eating some of those crawls probably too. So go on, buddy. Thank you. Oh, into the depths. I had one big bite at the fountain, like pull the rod tip down on the Z crawl or whatever this is, but I'm gonna go a little bit more finesse now and do a, a, a Sanko because I, I wanna get these hits. I wanna get hits, I wanna get hits. We gotta go. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. You guys can actually pick up your first Mystery Tackle Box for $4.99 with the link in the description or code Weston at checkout if you don't go through the link. But I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the fall bite and it's actually been in the 20s overnight down here in Dallas, Texas area uh, this last week and this cold front that pushed through has really got the bass messed up. I think for sure we could have got the slam out of the entire box given a little bit of different conditions but that's okay. Nonetheless, we got bites on the Texas rig, the jig, the booyah prank. I didn't think we were going to get that frog knocked out, but that's okay. We'll save that for warmer water temps. Yeah. The chatterbait. I don't know how that thing didn't perform. It seems like the go-to for a small new pond like this, but you know what? Maybe it was because we were using white braid instead of clear fluorocarbon line. That's the only thing I can think. I mean, I used to throw straight braid all the time in uh, all the past videos you've seen it, but uh, maybe it threw them off here because it's very clear water and we're used to fishing more stained water down here in our area. So as a beautiful pond, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to be on the lookout for Black Friday deals at Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'll tell the next one you guys, peace out. <gasps>